Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of NerdyOcon 2025 taking place in uh, Palm Springs, California at the beautiful La Quinta Resort. And today I have the pleasure of having Patrick Koble with me, security nerd uh -huh. at uh, VDISEC. Yes, How sir. You doing? doing good, man. You know, you gotta be, I'm glad we're inside right now because it's pretty melty out there. Yeah, it's yeah. hot in here. Yeah, it's getting there. Uh, so how are you liking the event so far? Oh, it's amazing. Like, uh, you know, as soon as I started showing up, I was like, is this like a subdivision or is this like a hotel? Yeah. And it just keeps going and pool after pool and spa and tennis courts and all that. And then the way Nerdio has kind of done the just the spread of all the event rooms and the sessions and the food. I mean, it's just like It's definitely top unique. Uh, yeah. Can't say I've ever been to another conference quite like this. And <laughs> no, definitely not. Or an airport like that. Uh, no, the airport was definitely surprising when I got off. Uh, been to, yeah, I think, outside. 100 plus airports. And I <laughs> see kids playing on a jungle gym, waiting for their flight outside. And yeah. then people asleep on AstroTurf Hills. I'm yeah. like, are we at a, is this the Tropicana <laughs> or something? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, are definitely. Are we inside? Are we outside? So, Tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, what does it mean to you personally and professionally to be a NVP? Uh, well, personally, it's, you know, it's a great accomplishment. Uh, it just shows that I've been doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. But then professionally, I also feel that it's a good thing because I'm able to be a conduit for many other people. So I work with lots of customers all over the world. And between those customers, I can represent a lot of people all at once because I see it all the time. And so professionally, it's really good. It makes a lot of connections. A lot of people in the NVP program, I've already been members in other community programs with them as being a nerdy dude. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's just like more of the same. But then there's new people and then obviously new technology. And uh, just like anything in this world, you can't know it all. And so I'm always learning. And so like, you know, I've been tearing up some sessions, getting my learn on, and there's things that are still coming out that I'm like, ooh, wow, that's cool. Uh, so that's keeping me excited. And that's what I'm excited for on the MVP program uh, with Dave and Bjorn. Uh, it's just super nerds doing super nerdy things. It's good stuff. Well, there's definitely been a lot of new features and stuff that they uh, <laughs> yeah. announced at, at NerdyOcon. Um, what would you say is your kind of favorite Nerdio feature that you think most people um, should know about and why? Well, I mean, it's one of the new features, which is some of the CIS baseline stuff, right? So CIS uh, makes a bunch of baselines that say you should have these 25 settings or these 205 settings, and it'll make it lock down and do all this. And so that's a new feature that you can run a report on your pools in ABD Windows 365 to say, is it compliant or not compliant? And uh, since I'm a security nerd, I do that on a regular basis anyway without that. And uh, that's going to make my life a lot easier. And it's also going to make customers' lives a lot easier. Um, and I think that's going to help secure things. And Nerdio has always been about bolting on to existing Microsoft solutions. And they're just continually doing that. And that just that makes me excited because I know that they're not stopping. They're not slowing down um, because they used to just have 10 or so features per version update. And now it's like, oh, 36, 37 was this last one for V7 for NME. I mean, they're just cramming it in there and they're just getting more nerds. And it's just the, the pace of development is just going continually. And uh, the best part about it with the NVPs along with how they take feature requests is it's so they're so open to listening and that they will make changes to the product and they're not going to say, well, that's the way we've always done it and not make any changes. They'll say, oh, that sounds cool. Let's do that. Yep. Yep. Um, so what kind of advice would you give to somebody considering becoming a Nerdio partner or an MVP? Uh, so for a Nerdio partner, uh, if you're slinging any kind of VDI things right now here in 2025, you pretty much mandatory. You need to be there. Uh, that way you can be ready for what your customers are going to ask about, right? Um, and you'll be able to give them the value that Nerdio is going to provide and make their life better as admins and make their user's life better and the budget of the company better because they're going to be able to save money even if they're spending money on Nerdio. Um, and then on the MVP side, I think the thing for me is I definitely know I'm kind of like an older dog doing this. And if I was 20, 30 years younger and I said, hey, what would I tell somebody in the future? I would say, 
write lots of blogs, get on LinkedIn, don't worry about making a website, don't worry about being perfect because no one's perfect. Uh, start instead of waiting for perfection because you're never going to get perfection. So start writing, start blogging. Uh, and I think the most important part that I've learned over the years is write about not just successes because that sounds cool, but also failures. So what was that one thing you clicked on that just took down a whole AVD pool? Uh, you might want to tell people not to click that, right? right. Uh, check twice, click once, right? And so I think contributing to the community is a really, really fun thing to do. Uh, it opens up a lot of opportunities. You can get to possibly go see the world and do speeches. And so you just got to use your words and just get started. So if it's a younger me, I'm telling you, start now, don't wait, you know, start going. You know, and it doesn't have to be some, you know, doctor thesis every blog. It right. can be short and concise with a couple of fun screenshots and maybe a meme or two to get someone to LOL and then you've got it, right? That's the formula for success, I think, right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are some of the uh, features and stuff in the Nerdio roadmap or recent developments like uh, the Windows 365 support that you're most interested in? I think uh, probably most excited about some of the things they're doing around Intune. And if you know Windows 365, Intune and it are, you know, peanut butter and jelly. They go together. There's no separating them once they're squished together. And so I think some of the Intune visibility that's coming out, some of the policy checking that's coming out, and things related to Intune to help find policy conflicts and also compliance problems and visualizing how good patching is or how good configuration is is going to be critical um, because that's how you run the ship you know uh, it's not just classic group policy or alterius or tanium or seccm it's intune and so you've got to use it and if you're not used to intune it's death by a thousand clicks but if you have nerdio and you use some of its in intune integration that's just looking at the apis they can visually show you if you're good or bad, right? A lot of green or a lot of red. A lot of red, you might want to get to work, right? Start clicking. Right. So that's what I'm excited for is a lot of that Intune stuff. The Windows 365 migration stuff that they've been working on is definitely really cool. Um, I can see some people swapping over to that. Um, and I see other people also just sitting on AVD. So I think it's going to be everyone's mileage is going to vary. There's not one size that fits all for AVD or Windows 365 or just VDI in general. So I think time will tell per customer. Um, but Nerdio is definitely giving you the tools to do anything and everything between those two solutions. And in your opinion, what is different about Nerdio's approach to uh, VDI and cloud management compared to some of the legacy people out there? Well, I mean, everybody else wasn't cloud first. Right, it's probably the easiest way to put it. Everybody else was when servers still had spinning drives and they were like six to nine gigabytes, right? right. Uh, and that they had like a single processor and a single core. Uh, and that's where they started and they've grown up into the virtual world and the virtualization era. Um, and then they started to get into the cloud era, but it's just not the same um, because they're always kind of working for backwards compatibility. So they're always kind of held back by the old ways. And if we think about it too, it's just like a coding nerd. That code's gotten long, it's gotten big, it's hard to update. It's some customers relying on that one feature, they can't deprecate it, you know? So they just have to keep going. And so I think Nerdio is showing that, you know, speed and listening to customer and getting what people actually need and it's usable is the way to go. And I've been talking to a couple of PMs here about some product ideas that I have that I've already suggested that I've got to go fill some stuff out when I get back home. Um, and that's what excites me because I know it's going to happen and they're excited. So I think the classic VDI vendors are struggling because of that. Uh, it's because they have to deal with everything that's old. If they all made like a brand new product from the ground up, it'd be cool, but then they'd still be years behind, right? So they'd have to pick and choose what they brought over. And I think it's just too complicated now. I think that was one of the things I took away from the uh, keynote today when we were talking about uh, all the threats to the Windows environment oh, yeah. and how that kind of builds all this ecosystem around totally. around Windows, right? Yep. So I think their greatest strength is the fact that they're imperfect, right? Dude, totally, yeah, right. And, and, and no software solution, nothing's perfect, right? It's always continual improvement. And I think with the Windows operating system, and especially if you put it in the cloud, 
You've got to have some security. You've got to have visibility. And it's not just a regular security vendor that's an AV thing. You need something that also is looking at the configuration because the configuration is what's making it secure or insecure. Mm -hmm. And before I let you go, what's uh, one thing you wish more people knew about Nerdio? All right, yeah, I mean, I think the one thing that I would say anybody of like what to do with Nerdio when you hear about it is to use it from day one. Uh, I run into a lot of places that's been 20, 30 days of them messing with AVD or Windows 365. And if they would have just used Nerdio as soon as they made that tenant and portal.azure.com, they would have had a much easier experience and they would have been like, wow, this is well worth it. And so I think that's one of the big features that I would say you've got to use it. You, seeing is believing. Um, and maybe you already started your ABD Windows 365 journey. That's cool. Uh, but as soon as you add Nerdio, your life's going to change. Uh, you are not going to be doing death by a thousand clicks and your deployment's going to go a lot easier and smoother. And that's what the whole game is, right? We need to save our own nerdy admin time so that we can give it back to our own nerdy endeavors along with making the user experience better. And so I think that's the big thing is try Nerdio sooner. Don't bring it in later. Bringing it in later is cool, but try it as soon as you can because it's going to make your experience so much better. Well, uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to speak no with VM Blog and yep. uh, look forward to the uh, rest of the conference. I know. Thank you so much. You have a great one. You too.